This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Mercedes. It is a 2015 Mercedes ML350. It's rear wheel drive, has 129,940 actual miles uh, with a 3.5 liter uh, six cylinder motor, gas motor. It is a new car dealer trade-in to Audi of Tucson. Obviously, it's a beautiful car. Um, runs and drives great. It looks as good as it runs and drives, which is crazy how, how good this thing looks. Um, in person, I would say that, uh, that uh, it looks like it's brand new. I mean, literally, it looks like it's brand new. Anyway, I'm going to walk around this thing like, like when that... Oh, we just got a little schmegma from a bug on there, huh? Don't crap on my car. Um, anyway, let me get this thing fired up real quick for you. The keys are in my pocket. That would be the key right there. All right. Let's see. All right. Bump, 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 bump. Now we've got it running. I'm just going to walk around the outside of it. They're Pirelli Scorpions. I would say the front are about 20 or 30% tread. I mean, there's not really not much to look at. My job in these videos really is to tear something apart to make it look bad. Um, like if something's bad, make it look worse than it is. Oh, there's a blemish. I see a little tiny ding right there. Um, but on this one, it's kind of difficult because there's not a whole lot going on here that's negative appearance-wise. The rear tires look like they're about 10 or 20% tread. Could use some tires pretty soon. Um, now you can, uh, you can open up the lift gate and close it with the remote, which I just did a minute ago. Um, anyway, here's uh, Monsoon's uh, Automotive. This is their, uh, that's our shop. This is the date it went in. There's the VIN. Um, it said customer states low coolant message on dash. Um, so we replaced the radiator assembly, which was expensive. $905 for antifreeze and a radiator. There's the actual part. There's the radiator. So $380 for radiator and antifreeze and the rest is labor. This is a picture of what, what they saw. Apparently the previous owner just, you know, probably had someone once a month put a tiny bit of coolant in there and didn't want to deal with it. All right, uh, let's see. Here is the uh, Experian uh, Auto Check. This is the uh, vehicle history. There's your uh, VIN. There's nothing here. No accidents or damage reported. Born and bred in Tucson. All the way, which is great. Um, all this stuff will be scanned into the online file so you'll be able to see it. People ask us how we get our prices. We kind of look around, but uh, Car Gurus here has one with 128, a black one, and it's in Ohio, which means it's rough and rust, but good deal is $13,475 there for that vehicle. Then you got a you got the, basically a twin to this one 131,000 mile truck in Texas. Uh, Houston, which is pretty humid too, so there's probably some rust there too. But they say a good deal is $13,295. All this stuff that you're looking at right here in my hand is in the file, okay? Um, so you'll be able to see it yourself in the file, in the, uh, in the ad itself, okay? All right. My videos can be uh, 17 minutes and 38 seconds long. Oh, you know what? I got the freaking locks on the line. Yes, I do. Okay. Can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds long. And that's because the SD card in the GoPro that I have in my hand um, says so. <laughs> so, there you go. All right. Window. 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 All right, let's see, mirrors. Oh, gosh darn it, there. Gotta hit this button to get them. See how it does that? There you go. All right, I have to do the mirrors when I get in the car. They don't allow for that. When the door's open, they don't like it. All right, let's see, what else are we doing here? La, 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 la. 
that side mirror out and in and up and down so I guess when I get in the car I have to have to do the driver mirror must be a German thing there's pass your front window up and down then you got the seats seat down seat up seat forward backwards I'm sorry and forward then the seat back forward and back and then the headrest up and down okay the seats are in great condition by the way you do have a full uh, uh, manual wheel lock set the whole bit in there there's your window up and down there this thing is pretty god dang it's got a ton of eyeball All right, I already did this door let's see driver's seat forward and back and up and down seat back forward back headrest down and up okay now get in the car and Okay, let's see. All right, radio. This newly uncovered information from ICE highlights the disconnect, frankly, between countries when it comes to sharing criminal right, let me get my seat all set up. So you got Fox. Let's see, we got Fox News. So we got satellite. We got satellite. Um, what you call it? Radio. What else we got? Turn here. Let's see. Radio. Oh, I see. So all that's serious, right? So apparently they still have a have a uh, what you call it? A uh, subscription here. This is a nice car. God. I wish I knew how to work it like I'm supposed to know how to work it. Sound. Alright. Not playing with stuff. Alright, let's see. So you have a. Uh, this is the steering up and down and telescoping and everything. You have uh, paddle shifters back here, right? Let me turn that down so you can hear me. Let me turn on the AC because it's actually getting warm in here. All right, let's see. So we have air, la, 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 la. Oh, shit. Got the heater on. No wonder it got hot in here. There we go. I was like, why am I hot? That's because uh, it is hot when you have the heater on. Well, we know the heater works. All right, what else we got here? Bum, 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 radio. Let's go to the radio. Let's see. Presets. Let's go down the presets. That's it. Volume up and down there. So, anyway, everyone knows how all that crap works. In the center console, there is a uh, USB port and an old school port with a flash cord in it. I'll just leave it there for you. Um, what else? Oh, let me open the gate here. All right. Anyway, these things can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds, and I'm not even going to be close to getting back into the yard by the time. There's reverse. I will be close to getting back to the yard by the time 17 minutes and 38 seconds is up. I just did that work truck over there and there's no bells and whistles to demonstrate so it's uh pretty simple oh you know what i forgot to do the roof the most important thing all right so you slide this thing back and you get that screen to go and the both screens reel up right into the middle thing and then you go like this again and you get the roof okay 
there is a process here. All right, and then you push the whole thing forward and you get that to the roof to close, right, like that, and then you pull down and then the covers go. Boom, pretty cool. All right, so that's that. Um, you got some cool stuff here with the, uh, let me go to the driver assist stuff is the most important stuff. So here you got assistance graphic, distance warning, attention assist, blind spot, and lane keeping, okay? That's that. Um, all right, let's go for a ride. All right, if you're coming to Tucson to drive this thing home, you're gonna pay the following. You're gonna pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Let me change the message on this. is kind of boring here. Let me see if I can find something better to look at. Let's see, there you go. That's the radio station. Navigation, there you go, corner lane. Um, you're gonna pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. Uh, we'll sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, You will have it shipped to your house. The mail will already be at your house before the uh, Mercedes shows up by your shipper. So you'll take the uh, title and the Mercedes to motor vehicles in your city and get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction so I can help you quickly and get your car to you quickly. Um, I do it a lot. I do a lot of shipping. I'm very good at it, but a lot of people do. So if you're uh, comfortable doing your own shipping, you're welcome to, but if you need help, let me know. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the car. Um, and that's that. God, this is a tight car. Oh, and I get this huge semi just pulls right in front. God dang it. We were rolling for a second there, guys. And then stop. Anyway, um, deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your $500 deposit in so we can take it offline. Um, if we don't have that uh, deposit, it will stay for sale, all right? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I always will and always have. We don't have salesmen, so you're not paying commission when you buy a car from us. We don't have a fancy location. You saw the yard we left in, our uncle. Uh, charges a dollar a year for that. He's very wealthy. He just writes off the loss. Uh, all we have to do is pay the uh, property taxes, which are about 300 bucks a month. So we're there for about 3600 to $3,700 a, a year. Uh, that's probably a third of what every auto mall dealership uh, pays uh, per month for their location. They got to pay for that. They pay for that by crushing you when they sell you a car. All right. They also got to pay for the attendants serving scones and lattes and sandwiches and the game rooms and all the other crap that they have at their dealerships that they don't really need. Um, we don't have all that stuff. Okay. They also know at the dealership that when they sell this vehicle to you, because they charge you a tremendous amount of money for the vehicle, that if something breaks, you're going to come in and want it fixed and you're going to have the right to have it fixed. When you pay way too much money for a car, they should at least fix it, right? Well, we do things the opposite way. We charge you way less money than them because we don't have the overhead they have, all right? That means that you're saving a lot of money up front so that you can fix your vehicle. Could we fix your vehicle? Sure, <coughs> we could fix your vehicle, but we'd have to charge you two or $3,000 more for it in order to want to do that, okay? You can't have both ways. You can't have the cheapest, uh, beautiful Mercedes ever and then have a full warranty on it right? It goes, it goes both ways. So what we do, because there's only two of us, me and Dennis, Dennis and I, um, we, uh, we, uh, don't have the time to deal with vehicles after we sell them. So that's another reason why we keep them, uh, priced the way we do. People always say, you know, it was suspicious that your vehicle was so cheap. We're like it's inexpensive. A, um, it's a beautiful vehicle. B, <laughs> and we don't have to make what they have to make, okay? And uh, that's the bottom line. You know, there's a, there's a happy medium here. Now, what we don't want is someone who needs a perfect car, although this is pretty close to perfect given the miles. 
doesn't get much more perfect than this, really. This thing has a beautiful ride. Um, aside from needing a set of tires pretty soon, this thing is in great shape. Um, one thing I always tell people, though, that they don't, everyone thinks that we must change the fluids and the filters. We don't touch the, the oil or the filters. Why? Because people get the vehicles and they're like, wow, everything's suspiciously clean. Are you hiding water in the oil? Are you hiding blah, blah, blah? So many years ago, we stopped doing that. Unless there's an actual mechanical reason to do it, uh, we don't. Okay, so that way you can see exactly how we bought it, um, and uh, that's that. Uh, the truth is the truth. The auto check is there, how we bought it is there, where we bought it is there, the video, the pictures. Um, with the goal being that we buy, we, we sell this vehicle to an adult, and not somebody who's going to say, oh my god, uh, you know, I need to buy a window motor today, or I need to buy a whatever you know whatever some you know who knows i've we've heard some of the dumbest things over the last 20 years and you're just like god you just saved twenty eight hundred dollars or thirty nine hundred dollars buying this vehicle from us and you want us to give you twelve dollars <laughs> what i mean so what we need is an adult not a baby okay and uh this is a very adult car i was thinking when i bought this vehicle that it was strange that you would even sell this thing. I mean, this is a great family car, for, you know, for like a teenager, not even a teenager, that's ridiculous, and too nice a car. But somebody in your family, maybe when people fly in town, they need a car instead of a rental car. This is that car. Why would you ever trade this in unless you ran out of garage space or, I have no idea. Anyway, it runs and drives fantastic. We're coming up on 17 minutes and 38 seconds pretty soon. So I'm just going to shut up and I'll say goodbye at 1738, okay? All right, thanks for your time.